Guess what? It's that time of year again for Help Gives Hope's huge charity garage sale. Joining us now with all the details on this great event is Michael Brady, the executive director with Help Give Hope. Michael, it is so great to see you. Well, thank you very much for having me. Uh, it's we're so excited. This is the last sale. Uh, we have a 30,000 square foot warehouse that is just full of items to sell. Um, and in, in two days, everything will be gone. Mm -hmm. You know, in a normal garage sale, you have a, your six foot table that you borrow from your neighbors and you set up stuff and maybe you have four or five of those tables set up. Well, we have 150 of those. Plus we have furniture, plus we have clothing. We're showing the video of what all's going on there. This is a huge wow. environment. So this entire warehouse is just chock-a-block full of stuff. And in this two days, Friday and Saturday, every bit of that will hopefully go out the door. So we're, this is our last sale. So we're gonna, we have to empty the warehouse so we can prepare for Christmas time. Mm -hmm. We are, our Christmas project is our biggest thing that we do at our children's charity. So we're gonna empty all this stuff out and be ready to, to get bicycles and presents for families. Oh. So this, all this revenue that we generate from this sale will uh, help us uh, have brighter Christmases for families. Oh, that is so. awesome. So what we're looking at here, it looks like it's like a regular garage sale where you have an assortment of everything. Oh, everything. I have, we have a huge collection of, you if you know, uh, Bree Drummond out in Pawhuska. Yes, she has, okay, the Pioneer Woman. The Pioneer Woman. So she has, we have a huge collection. Somebody had amassed a collection of almost every houseware item that she has. So we've got, I think eight tables dedicated just to What? The, yes. Maddie and I, we're going. <laughs> okay, because that's normally expensive stuff. stuff yep. And so that's that's where we have that that's showing right now. It's an mm. amazing collection of stuff. We have that, we have furniture items, wow. we have crafts, there's Christmas and Halloween. We have entire sections, it's all well done, well organized. Uh, Friday will be our sale, uh, normal hours. Saturday is starts at 8 a.m. and we'll be crazy because we're gonna start getting the prices down where stuff will go out the door. So oh. if, you want, if you want if you want to see everything and you want to have a good selection, you need to come here on Friday. Uh, if you want to you want to get the deals then Saturday's your day. And if you just love the sales, yes. you come both days. days. Exactly. Oh no, we'll have we'll have the the folks that come every time and they will be there both days and we just have our volunteers have a great time. Our participants have a great time. We know a lot of them by name. They've come so often. It's like we always greet them, and it's it's a great great time. And you're raising the money for Help Give Hope. Correct. Can you explain what the organization is and what you do? Help Give Hope is a children's charity. We've been around for 42 years. We're kind of quiet. We don't tend to get on TV a lot or, or ask for uh, money or. or publicized too much, but it is a wonderful group. I'm one of the new volunteers. Um, I've started volunteering 17 years ago. Wow. So, and I'm the newbie elf. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have, once people get involved, they're, they're very involved. It is started as Christmas only, uh, bring uh, a Christmas to families in need, find it they're facing financial difficulties. So start out as Christmas, now it's year round. Utility systems, assistance, re rental assistance. We have a used car program. Um, it is for a family that's facing a financial difficulty, um, this is the, the family that we're shooting for. Mm -hmm. um, you, you may have a car breakdown or uh, a job loss of, it could be a two income family and one of you loses a job. There's gonna be that struggle till you find that second yeah. job. That's where we come in. Uh, we don't do deal with the homeless uh, population. You know, there's other agencies that take care of that. Ours is, we're trying to help out those families that are just, just having that temporary issue of, of how do we make this work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now question, how long ago did you start gathering all the items for the garage sale? We, <laughs> we will, uh, we, we actually pick up items. We have a, a truck that we can come pick up items. We're not picking up right now because we're finishing up for this year. Yeah. Right. Starting in January, we'll start again. So all of that entire warehouse was filled from basically January 1st of this year through uh, the 1st of August. That's just items that we've, wow. we've received this year. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah. That's it's huge. It's, yeah. So n remind people of the times to get there early for Friday. So, so Friday's, Friday's, Friday's from eight to three. Saturday is the same time. You want to be there. We. You literally will get there, and there'll be a line out the door oh, waiting to, for the. Is door it like open. Black, or, uh, Black, Friday. Black Friday style? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah. Christmas. Okay. Yeah. And that's so we have. I think we have about a hot. And it's a huge warehouse, so we have about a hundred shopping carts. So it's not like you're going to 
a normal garage sale at a home where you're carrying stuff around. No, we give you garage, we give you the shopping cart, and we want to see that thing mounded full. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, if it's not, you're going to see me going, "Hey, there's not enough stuff in here." Yep. <laughs> I just thought of something, Maddie. But we're going to be in Monette on Friday at 8 o'clock when it opens. So we oh. can't even get our Pioneer Woman things. You, well, you know, well, we can pop on over. Well, you are very close, and you do know somebody. So I'm just saying. <laughs> True. I'm just saying it would be great for all of our cooking segments. Yes. yes. Oh, and they have cookware. We have a ton of cookware. Just, it's everything. Household needs, uh, tools, furniture. It's just. Tools? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, I mean, like, he's going to be there. Okay, so one more time, all the information, location and times. So, so the location is 2809 North Cedar Brook. If you know where Ozark's Food Harvest is, it's directly across the street from there. Uh, and then it'll be start at 8 a.m. and finish at 3 p.m. So we will be, after being there all that time, we'll probably be asking you to hurry up and make your purchase. Yep. yep. <laughs> guys, Thank you know we love our garage sales around here, so this is the big one, guys. Take advantage of it this Friday and Saturday. Yep. Thank you so much. Great Thank to see you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be finishing our cottage cheese breakfast tacos right after this.